again. Bye, geek. Bye. Bye. Hi, my name is Anna, and I'm a singer. Hi, my name is Peyton, and I'm a dancer. And today, what are we doing today? Today, we are reacting to two people that have become very close to our hearts. H&D, Hangyeol, and Dohyun. So yes, today we are reacting to two videos from H&D. The first one is Good Night, but a live stage. And then the second one is Umbrella and the music video of that. And we know that they have debuted recently in a new group called BAE173 Betchisam. And we reacted to their debut and absolutely loved it in case you haven't seen that video. But while we wait for BAE173, oh, that's such a long way to say it. <laughs> while we wait for their comeback, we thought we'd get these requests done and off of our list. So let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, he's an actual child. He's so cute. He's an actual child. And then there's Hunky. And then there's Hunky. I'm so sorry. Yeah, there. This was at the same time as Seoul, I'm pretty sure, so it's very different. Excuse me? Yeah. I think. They're really like giving off the sibling energy in this video. <laughs> this is reminding, it's this feels very old school to me. Mm. in the background. It feels like the shooting stars. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's so relaxed. Like their arms. Which makes sense. Good night. <laughs> it's like a group chant thing. This part, the verses, mm. it reminds me of like a old, it's like a sweeter version of like an old, like, is it dynamic duo song? <laughs> oh. oh! You know which one, right? Yeah! That's what I'm feeling. But it's just like the verse part. Hunga has great facials when he's performing. Like, he's such a character. I say it in the most loving way. <laughs> yeah, and then it turns all more like EDM y here. Mm. The soft EDM. Like, I don't know. Petite Biscuit style? Mm. Is that the name? I don't remember. Are they gonna go to sleep? Oh my god, they're going back to sleep. <laughs> Child. Child. Okay, we're just gonna do this kind of conversation style, I guess. Since it's a live stage, it's easier for us to do like conversation style. First, I just wanna say, I hope people know that we're not like laughing at. <laughs> In between filming the reaction and filming this part, we were just talking about how Hunga would be such a fun person. To, to be like, around, yeah. be around and be friends with, because he's just so funny. That's why so we kept like laughing. Like Doyan is a baby child. Yes, but Hangyeol would be a great. He's just like a character again. <laughs> this is really interesting to think about being at the same time or like around the same time as Soul though, because this one's so soft and so like soft boy vibes. I feel like this song was to embrace Doyan's image more, and Soul was to embrace Hangyeol's image more. That's right? so fair. Yeah. 
Doyoung can pull off the like soul image, like the darker one, because he's like tall and has the deep voice and stuff. But when you think about he's like 15 here, this is definitely to embrace that. Mm. But also just like anything I had to say musically, I feel like I said in the reaction, I think the only thing I would really need to elaborate on is like the, in the background, it sounded like the shooting stars or like it makes you think of the shooting stars. It's not um, just the synth in the background, but there's multiple synths playing at the same time. One of them is starts to descend as it goes down. And also the sort of flute, wooden flute sounding synth that starts playing in the song also has that vibe. It, it like kind of like a Boy Scouts like sleeping mm. outside in a tent looking up at the stars like that sort of feeling okay. instead of like a lullaby indoors you know that makes sense yeah dance wise i think i used the word relaxed and like just explaining that a little bit more the way they're moving is very relaxed like it looks like they're not using a lot of energy i mean they are but it looks like they're not so it kind of fits that sort of like soft like getting ready for bed sleepy sort of vibe but i just was impressed by how loose everything was it was loose without being out of control. Like one of my favorite parts was in the chorus when they kind of did the legs where they like kicked forward, kicked back, kicked forward, but their bodies stayed really still. So like, that's really impressive because they're holding their torso, but their legs are kind of like being a pendulum back and forth and just swinging very freely. So I thought that was really cool. It's harder than it looks to be completely honest. So especially because they were kicking pretty high, I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of impressive. <laughs> I don't know, it was really cute. I was having a great time watching it. Mm. Next. I don't know what else to say. Yeah. yeah. Let's just go next. Let's just Woo! do it. So the next video we're reacting to is Umbrella and it's we're watching the official music video, not a performance because there's no dance for this. The reason why I watched a live stage for the last one was so that Payton could see the dance. So yeah, let's go. Let's go. And so I checked this one too. Oh, it just said it. So this is like September. So this is several months later. I like the cloud above. Is it gonna start raining in the background? I mean, you hear Water the sounds. rain. Yeah, it's been like building up the whole time. But I mean like, I meant literally like, is the cloud gonna start raining, not in the music? <laughs> Oh, I like that effect. Toyota's guitar. No, I really like this kind of music. I do too. Again, this is that like small overlap that we have. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like how they did the doubling and octopal part though. Mm. It's very like jazzy. Mm. Like the keyboard. Oh, let me get away. I just like the kind of instruments. Makes me think of. Oh, back on vocals. Uh, sorry. Samok or Yijina. <gasps> His mic is yellow. <gasps> Sorry, that makes me really happy. Also, <laughs> oh, oh, both of them are. Oh, wait, no, it's his oh. green. Oh, Young's is green. Sorry, bad eyesight. <laughs> oh, that line in the background. 
sitting in like a coffee shop or something uh, with like the piano in the background, right? Like a very minimalist coffee shop. Yeah. You know the one I'm thinking of? I know exactly. <laughs> Our favorite. I do think it's interesting though. I kind of want to explain in case people don't know. So when I was like, this is the small overlap. We talk about our different music styles a lot on this channel. <laughs> and when we say different music styles, I mean like that we listen to on our own time because a lot of times when we're reacting, like we really enjoy what we're watching, but then it's like, what would I listen to when I'm just like doing work around my house or something, right? We have very different styles for that sort of thing. I like really dramatic music and like very angsty music all the time. Nine times out of 10, that's what I will choose. Something super dramatic and angsty. And then for me, I have like phases of genres of music that I'm really, really into. The only phases that I don't ever have are the really, really dramatic angsty music that Peyton likes or country music. <laughs> but usually when we say like, oh, this is so Anna's style, it's usually the happy songs and mine are usually like the rip your heart out songs. Oh, yeah. And then there's this. And this is in the Venn diagram of music that we like. This is the small overlap of like genre style yeah. that we both enjoy, <laughs> regularly enjoy. Because mm -hmm. there's always exceptions. So I just thought that was really, and you could tell as soon as it started, we were both like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like coffee shop music. I don't know. I liked it a lot. I can't say a lot because again, no dance and they were just singing. I mean, the music video was very fitting for the song because it does just feel like a live like band session. Oh, so I kind of wanted to elaborate on what I was saying during the reaction. I was like, oh, the music reminds me of like Sam Ock or Izina style. Mm -hmm. People might not know who they are. Both of them are singer, songwriter, musicians, and they both focus on sort of like more jazzy style music. And it's very focused on like keyboard. They're also in that Venn diagram of music that both Peyton and I like. One thing that really made me think that though was like the keyboard, how there are all these like moving keyboard yeah. lines that were used as like not an ornament even, but like it became the focus for that moment. And that's what really reminded me of it. I don't pay attention to like composition of music and stuff the way Anna does when we react to these things. But even I was like, oh, the piano line, because it was the focus in those moments. So mm -hmm. I was yeah. also kind of struck by how like, obviously he's still baby child, but Toyon really was kind of embodying that more like mature image here. Out of the three H&D songs, this is the one where he felt really like the most mature, it like felt older. the most natural in this yeah. one, I feel like. And then so. I just think, would you like to get some <laughs> <laughs> I think the other main thing that I wanted to say instrumentally though, was like, I love the wide range that they had the sort of more minimalist instrumental because of that like the moving lines like the keyboard are able to be the focal point when they are when they are moving and like their voices are able to be more of a focal point nothing else is taking away from it yeah. like visually too because of the yeah, yeah. video and i really like the parts like in the beginning or towards the beginning where like hunger is doing the line and then Toyon is singing it in octave lower. Similar vein of thought, and this is probably the last thing I can say. I really liked it for that reason because I like hearing their voices, especially Hongyeol's voice. I felt like this is where I've gotten to hear his voice the most out of any song I've heard him on before. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I liked it. <laughs> I did too. I would listen to this on a rainy day mm -hmm. with a London fog. Ooh, oh. listening to this song on a rainy day while drinking a London fog and studying in a cafe. Oh, 
the vibes are immaculate. <laughs> that is such a good word. Oh my god. Anyways, that's all I have to say. <laughs> All right, so do we do TL TLDR for this video? I don't know. TLDR is we finish reacting to the H&D requests that we've gotten while we're waiting for a PAE 173 comeback. So pitch Sam, hope you're preparing for a comeback soon. We are eagerly awaiting. So that being said, if you enjoyed this reaction, if you also enjoy these songs, enjoy H&D, are hoping for a bitch to Sam PAE 173 comeback. That's just so long. Nick, come back soon then please leave a like, comment, subscribe, ding, turn on your notification bell, and bye. Bye.